to our YouTube channel, This Is Nashville. My name's Jake Gomes. On our channel, we feature the finest homes, neighborhoods, amenities, and local businesses here in Nashville, Tennessee. Today, we're in 509 Haynes Street. It's a brand new build in the heart of the Haynes area, right off of West Trinity, just a stone's throw away from the Cumberland River and downtown. This home is a four bed, three bath, over 2,400 square feet. So let's go check out what it looks like. All right, y'all, let's check it out. So on your first level, right when you walk into the home, you get greeted by a sitting area here with some nooks for your shoes or whatever have you. So really nice area here, right when you come into the home where you can just sit down, take your shoes off, and it's right across from the first bedroom. So this particular bedroom has two beds in it, I think to feature the size of the room. But this area is super close to downtown. You know, this area is where a lot of the growth that's coming into Nashville is going to be featured. So you have companies like Oracle coming into downtown and a lot of that Oracle money, a lot of that tech money is growing out from downtown and the Haynes area and the West Trinity area and Trinity Lane overall are starting to be targeted very, very heavily from developers. So it's no surprise that this brand new home is here. We just scoot past this bed here. You've got your walk-in closet, maybe a call it like a half size walk-in closet. I really like when on the first level of the home you have a, a bedroom, but you kind of feels like you have your own space. We did a feature at the Edge Hill Villas and it was very similar in that regard. Of course, you have your full bath right here on the first level. So the way that the builder built this home, he used what I see a lot where it's a little bit of a, like it's a modern feel, but it's very bright, it's very homey, where you've got the light wood floors and a lot of white and gold accents. I find that that style of build is becoming more and more common because it combines a little bit of the modern feel that people love with a little bit of that home feel as well. Speaking of home feel, you do have an area for a massive TV and you have your own fireplace. So I really like how they did that. You don't see this type of fireplaces in these new homes that commonly. You know, some have them, some don't, but I really like how they added that. It just makes this whole area just feel a little bit cozy. I mean, you can picture yourself here on a winter night or winter evening, just having a glass of wine by the fire. Let's go check out the upstairs. Up on the second level, you don't just have a skinny little hallway. I really like how they have a second landing up here. This is a four bedroom, but this area just adds another feel, whether it's going to be a playroom, whether it's going to be an office, you know, whether it's gonna be a living area as they have it. I like that they kept this wide open space so you can sort of make out of it what you'd like. If we go in here, this bedroom is what you would consider the primary, so it's the biggest bedroom and it has an ensuite bathroom. Again, a lot of the light wooden finishes with a lot of uh, white, a lot of gold sort of accents. You know, that sort of organic feel is throughout the home. Of course, this is the primary, so it does have the biggest closet. It does have your ensuite bathroom, pretty massive shower in there. It has the toilet, which is separate, which I really, really like. I'm, I'm seeing more homes have that separated toilet where you can close it with a door. You know, if it's your primary, maybe it's, you know, you and your partner here and one of you needs to use the space, someone else needs to use the space. It provides a nice little breakup where you have a little bit of that separation. We'll go check out the other two bedrooms. So here's your third full bathroom that everyone on the upstairs unit can use. We come into this, this closet is about the same size as the one on the first level. Uh, the ceilings are also slanted, they're vaulted, which again adds a little bit more of space to it and a little bit more character, which I really like. And lastly, this is the fourth and final bedroom. Similar size, similar ceilings. Check out the closet here. It's a little bit of a smaller closet, but this is the only room in the house that you have access to the balcony. So a very interesting choice to have this bedroom, that smaller closet, it's about the same size as the last two bedrooms that we looked at, 
but it's it's got this space here which I think is really really special they added some lights here to sort of add to the to the feel of it I would love to see how this looks in the evening so that's it for the home let's go to the backyard and let's check out what they have going on over there one thing that I like about this home is that oftentimes when builders will buy a lot like this, they'll build what's called an HPR. It's a horizontal property regime. They're coined as tall and skinnies, but they're homes that are back to back or side by side where you take one lot that maybe had one home on it and you build two homes. For instance, right next door to us, this is an example of that. But I like how this builder didn't do that. They weren't just cramming for space. What they did is they optimized for quality. So you do have your backyard here that has sort of a separate gazebo area that we're walking into now. So not only do you have a brand new home with high-end finishes, but you also have an entertaining space and a pretty massive backyard at the same time. So I really like how this builder did this. If you're interested in this home or any of the amazing real estate opportunities that we have here in Nashville, Tennessee, please call, text, or email us, and please do not forget to subscribe.